Michael, great to have you back. Um, you know, it's hard. You, you, we're getting readouts from the likes of Snap. Some of the ad firms themselves haven't been nearly uh, as uh, dire with their warnings. What do you think the truth is? Hey, Carl, good morning. Um, it's really complicated, right? <laughs> so part of the weakness is due to the client composition you have, right? So you have Fortune 500 clients, big clients. They're not cutting as quickly as some of these smaller unprofitable companies that are the backbone of Snap's advertising base like cryptocurrency, sports gambling, direct to consumer, they're all cutting aggressively, but some of the bigger companies have not cut yet, right? So we're in this weird place where the early warning is happening in digital, but it's not yet happening in ad agencies or linear TV yet. But we think it probably will next couple of quarters. Yeah, I love your line. If it's raining in Brooklyn, <laughs> isn't it going to rain eventually, I guess, in Queens? Yeah. So how does that lead yeah. you to your call on, on Paramount and Snap, for example? Okay, so to be fair, that's a, a line from one of our oldest clients. I don't want to say his name because it'd be flooded, but I was giving credit. Uh, so on Friday, Robert Fishman on, on our team downgraded Paramount. What we're seeing right now in real time is we're seeing weakness in cable network television and AVOD, which is Pluto, Tubi, Roku. So we're seeing weakness now in the in the short term markets. Uh, so we think you're going to see some weakness in the June quarter in television, right? You already know the weakness in digital. You have Twitter and Snap, Facebook and Facebook and Google will, will be disappointing as well. But we think TV is now on the cusp. And that's why we downgraded Paramount to a sell. Robert did, because we think heading in the next couple of quarters, you'll see it start showing up in the numbers. And these companies, as you know, Carl, we talked about this in the past, they're all pivoting to direct consumer models. So they need their linear business to hold up, to make the investment, to move to digital, to direct consumer. So if linear starts breaking down, it's going to be hard to make that pivot the same kind of strength that you once thought you could because there's weakness in the economy. So, Michael, if I'm reading this correctly, then perhaps we're seeing greater prioritization in how companies are allocating their advertising dollars. Can you help, dollars, can you help break that down for us? What, where does the priority usually lie, especially in the face of recession? What gets cut first and what is usually the last to to go or what, what's usually kind of the more stable source of ad revenue for these businesses? Yeah. Leslie, that's, that's the question that we get all the time from our clients. And we think about the world as a, a funnel, right? The top of the funnel is brand building. And what usually holds up the top of the funnel are, is broadcast television, live sports, live news, CNBC, where you can reach an audience in scale, uh, in television. That holds up pretty well. So we would say, look, if you have a broadcast network, or a live sports, live news business, you're not going to be as affected. The bottom of the funnel, you know, Google search, Amazon shopping, where there's an intention to do something, where you're not trying to figure out what is Carl going to do on this website, where we know he's going to search for a, a, new, a new set of golf balls or something. Like, that's valuable. But everything between the top of the funnel and the bottom of the funnel is at risk, right? So our view is, you know, we're really, we're still bullish on, Alpha, on, on Google. Uh, we know there's going to be challenges to YouTube, but search holds in. And then we have a buy on Fox because Fox is essentially a play on sports and news, right? But your question is the right question. There's going to be weakness from that top to bottom, and that's where Snap has been playing out and Twitter. And again, I think we think cable networks will be weak and AVOD, which is a new, a new source of advertising dollars.